Utility iron, hybrid, or high lofted ferry wood? Probably a question that you've considered for yourself, but today we're gonna have some answers. Taylor is gonna hit some shots with each club type. We'll have the TrackMan data tell us about the launch and the spin and the distance differences in each club model. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you give this video a like, and you tell us in the comments which of these clubs you have in your bag. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahal, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Taylor Ledwine here at the Minnetonka store in the tour van. And uh, Taylor, mm -hmm. uh, a fun one, an important conversation with this one, uh, because I think a lot of golfers struggle with the decision between, okay, maybe their longest iron in the bag, and then maybe a three wood or a five wood, right? Mm -hmm. But that tweener gap there uh, is an important one, uh, not only for just you know filling that gap in terms of distance, right? Having a club there mm -hmm. to bridge that gap, but also what, club and what trajectory what you what you really need in your bag to make that mesh the best so the options we have out there we have the high lofted fairy wood which is kind of like a, a this is a seven wood mm -hmm. um, we have a hybrid and then you also have a utility iron so they're all three very different um, and they produce different uh, performance so right. talk to me about kind of each of the different ones what you uh, see from them when you hit shots with them mm -hmm. and um, a little bit about what you might expect in this test so i personally play hybrids and a fairway wood I don't really yeah. like like the utility iron like this it's just personal preference yeah um I sometimes struggle with getting it up in the air yeah. which is what some golfers golfers will struggle with so yeah. you might see this come out just a little bit lower yeah um the hybrids are a really good option um you know if you don't really want to go with the wood yeah because the further down you get in between you can't necessarily go with the wood so they're right. a good option to get the ball a little bit higher in the air um sometimes you will see just a little bit more uh, roll out with those than the wood. Yes. Um, but then the wood is going to be something that's going to give you a little bit more carry. It's going to stop, uh, you know, a lot sooner than the hybrid wood. Right. So what I'm expecting to yeah, see yeah, yeah. out of the numbers is the wood's going to go the highest. Yep. Um, the hybrid's going to run out a little bit more and um, the iron might go a little bit lower than both. Right. So. Yeah. So, and it's, it's funny because we, we have all Titleist today. Mm -hmm. We have the, that's, that's the U510 uh, utility iron. Mm -hmm. So uh, kind of a, a little bit more forgiving, maybe, a uh, utility right. iron, but still a utility iron nonetheless that's designed, I guess, primarily for explosiveness and maybe a lower launch type of flight. Yeah. Um, the TSI-2, uh, four hybrid here at 21 degrees, and then a 21 degree TSI-2 fairy wood as well. Yeah. So, and then at 22 degrees of that four iron. So mm -hmm. not quite all the same, but the general idea of making sure golfers are aware of the differences because right. it's not all the same and you're going to get some pretty major eye wood consider in the past we've done some testing some pretty major differences mm -hmm. in that launch in that height in that spin so um, we are seeing these kind of seven woods and these nine woods even becoming more and more popular for whether you're an amateur or whether you're a pga tour professional lpga right. tour professional a lot more of these are going in the bag yeah we've been getting a lot of questions on the chat you know online mm -hmm. phone calls or the phone calls from mm -hmm. the online fitting of should i switch to a wood should i have a hybrid yeah um kind of what are the benefits and it's all really personal preference you know yeah. Uh, pros are putting them in their bags on tour if they have um, courses that are going to need a lot of far carry because that's what that's going to benefit. Right. So it's all personal preference, golfer style, and the course you're playing. Sure. Well, today we're going to have Taylor hit shots with each of them. We will then look at all the TrackMan data and see what major differences there are. We'll come back and then we'll kind of summarize all the data. But I think golfers that might be having some sort of doubts about this part mm -hmm. of the bag will really have those questions answered today. Yeah, let's get to it. Oh, that was so much better. Look at that ball speed. Yeah. <laughs> 206. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, definitely seeing some more height here. That one was really yeah. good. Wow. Thanks. There it is. More ball speed. Yeah. I think a little more spin. I can't really remember what the spin was. I think were. that's a little bit more spin, and I don't think it's as high as the hybrid. That one should be good. 
Oh yeah, that was launched. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. 99 feet in the air. All right, so Taylor, um, we've got uh, five shots with each up there right now. Mm -hmm. um, at, well, I guess it's actually six with each club that are average up there right now. Yeah. Um, we kind of notice a difference in club speed up there. Mm -hmm. um, a kind of a big one with each, but um, that's because these, when you're playing these different clubs, the shaft that you're playing generally is going to be a different fit. Yeah, so with the iron, the hybrid, and the wood, they're all going to be a different shaft length and weight. Mm -hmm. um, typically, we say from like hybrid to wood, wood to driver, it's five to 10 grams less. Yeah. Um, that's what's kind of generating that more club speed. It's yeah. lighter, it's a longer shaft, you're going to be able to swing it just fa faster. Right, right. So with these, we've got kind of stock regular flex. Mm -hmm. um, we've got, you know, the Kuro Kage's here in the TSI 2s, and then the uh, U510 has the hazardous uh, smoke black and the, the 5.5 of the regular flex. So yeah. um, with, you know, we tried, I mean, again, bonded hosel here, you can only do so much with that utility, but the point being, they're all kind of similar shafts. Right. Um, but you still did have that increase of three to four miles per hour swing speed with each. So that then generated some differences across the board the rest of the way. Yeah. Um, so ball speed, and then we actually saw the spin stay pretty close overall, mm -hmm. but carry, and then especially the height is where things really changed. Right, so with the total distance, you are gonna see that the wood is gonna go, you know, almost 20 yards further than the iron. So then that's where kind of the gapping come in, mm. comes into play. Right. What are you going to put in your bag that's going to work with the gapping? Mm -hmm. Or what two clubs are you going to add if you're getting the seven wood to fill in that gap there? Um, so that's kind of where we're seeing the total distance. But, you know, like we had said kind of before, what we thought we would see is true. Um, the iron is carrying less. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's rolling out about the same as a hybrid, a little more than the wood. And then that height is going to be significantly different. Yeah. Um, you know, mm -hmm. 22 degrees of feet between the iron and the wood, and then nine feet with the hybrid. So pretty much what we expected and kind of the reason people carry right. these different clubs. Right, and the thing we should note too is actually that the, the iron is actually higher lofted than yeah. hybrid and the wood for this test. It was at 22, the other clubs are at 21. Mm -hmm. So um, even with that said, that was the lowest flight of the clubs at 60 feet for your kind of peak height average. Yeah. And then the seven one went 82 feet. And also I think another piece to look at is the landing angle. So let's say these players are going after a long par three or a second shot on a long par four, yep. um, or even maybe it's a short par five and they're mm -hmm. trying to get there in two. And you need that ball to land on the green and stay there. Well, the steepest landing angle was comfortably the seven wood at just right. about 40 degrees. Then the other two are right around 35-ish degrees, 36 degrees. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that is why we're seeing the trend of seven woods and even nine woods really picking up for golfers of all skill levels right because they are generally go a little bit straighter they're easy to launch and they land softly and stop quickly mm -hmm. on the green yeah so if you're gonna play a course you know you don't have a lot of carries it's maybe a lot more uh you know roll out mm -hmm. that you're looking for the iron would be a great option um it's not gonna sit as much or spin as much um like landing on the green it's gonna you know kind of roll out if you're mm -hmm. able to do that but um, if you're playing a course that have a lot of force carries, um, then the seven wood would be, you know, more ideal because mm -hmm. it's going to be able to carry that stuff and stop quicker, like you said, on par threes, right. um, par fours, anything like that. So. Right. And I think I'll bring up the dispersion here on the, uh, the screen. But mm -hmm. one thing I wanted to note was I believe there was a shot up here that this one right here. Uh, so it's actually I believe it might be the farthest total of the day, but you actually said that you miss hit this one. Yeah. And so. Uh, you caught it, maybe you hit, you know, the ground, so to speak, a little bit behind the ball. Yeah. Which on these mats, you can kind of get away with sometimes. But mm -hmm. the note, the thing to note is that the spin went way down. But look how, I mean, look at the shot. I mean, it's right, right down the middle, over 220, and a little bit more forgiveness there. And you can kind of see the distance dispersion is a little bit like tighter. Mm -hmm. Whereas with that, with that iron, it's kind of, you know, elongated a little bit. So your misses are punished just a little bit more. Um, so you see the extra forgiveness, the extra, I guess, stability that right. a hybrid or even, you know, a seven would give you a little bit. Yeah, if you moved that circle just a little bit down to the left, it's going to kind of be about the same as the hybrid. Right, so that's right. one big perk and one reason I like to play the hybrids in the woods because you do get that little bit extra forgiveness if you don't hit it, you know, 
perfectly off the center. Right. Whereas with the iron, like you stated, that circle is a lot wider. So that miss hit, I mean, I, ranging from almost mm -hmm. 180 to almost 206. So that's a pretty big gap, especially, mm -hmm. you know, if you're hitting on like a par three or whatever. So it just gives you the confidence that even if I don't quite hit it right, it's going to yeah. go about what I think it should. Right, right. And it's just, you have, I mean, a little more trust in that club maybe mm -hmm. sometimes. But um, to that point, you know, the gapping piece is also important. So let's say right. someone, for example, uh, their five iron in the bag before this club is a, you know, 185 yard club. You know, they can't then go from that to a seven wood that goes 215 yards right. and then they have a big gap there at about 200 that they don't know what to do. So there's more than just the launch and the spin and the performance. Mm -hmm. It is about gapping and making sure your bag is fully covered and every distance that you might face, you have a shot in your bag for it. Uh, so I know that's an important piece for you when you're going through your bag and yeah. talking about, okay, you know, five wood to hybrids to maybe six or seven hybrids, whatever you have in your bag. Yeah, so I go up to a seven iron and then I play three hybrids in a seven wood. Um, mm -hmm. And some people will play like a seven wood and a four hybrid. Yeah. Because if you look like I'm hitting, yeah, I hit one almost 220 with the hybrid. Most of them are kind of in that 210 range. Right. Then I can hit the wood past 220. So mm -hmm. even if they're almost the same loft, right. they're just a different club and a different shot in general. So there's nothing wrong with kind of carrying both. Right. Just whatever is going to make it work for mm -hmm. you in the gapping. Right, exactly. So there's a lot of different things to consider. We kind of threw a lot at the viewers today with mm -hmm. this video, but um, it is a really important part of the bag to consider, and you need to get that one right to make sure you are got all the shots in your bag covered and you can go out on the course and play your best golf. So whether it's a utility iron, a hybrid, or a high lofted fairy wood, um, there's certainly an option of second swing for you. And one of our experts like Taylor can take care of you and help you with that decision and uh, help you play better golf ultimately. So. Taylor, thanks for joining today, hitting all the shots and giving your feedback here. Again, helping golfers with that, that important decision in their bag here. Yeah, it was a good time and, you know, three great clubs to hit.